Okay, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Victoria's Kids and this means that we're going to dive right in to a new Bible verse. So, today's Bible verse comes from Lamentations chapter 3 verse 27 and that says, it is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. Now, that seems very complicated, it has some words that you may not be familiar with, so we're going to break it down a little bit. Okay, so the first word that you may be unfamiliar with is a yoke, and I'm not talking about the yoke from an egg, that is not all we're talking about today. We're talking about a yoke um, in the sense that a yoke is like a weight or a burden, right? So... In the olden days for farming, when there used to be um, animals that would do the farming instead of big machines, there used to be a yoke. So the yoke would um, ensure that the two animals would stay in a straight line and stay together, right? So in this verse, it's talking about a yoke. And that means for our lives, the yoke means um, like God's work. So it's saying it's good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. So it's good for a man to bear God's work or to do God's work in his youth. So when he's young. And I know that a lot of you watching are young. Um, And as young people, you have lots of energy. You're running around all the time. You have lots of strength. And you also have lots of time, right? Because no responsibilities. So... This is saying that with all this extra time that we have, we can use that to do God's work because we're strong, we have lots of energy, we have lots of time. So we are able to do some of God's work that some older people may not be able to do because they're so busy or they don't have much energy. So this is a great time for you to sit down and think, right, how can I carry out God's work this week? How can I use my strength, my energy and my time to please God? So this week's challenge is for you to do something in the church which carries out God's work. So if you need help thinking about what to do, you can ask your parents. And next week, we're going to check in on you and we're going to make sure that you've done something this week to please God and to do God's work. So make sure that you sit down, you talk to your parents, you think about what you can do that will really please God and that will use up some of your energy. Okay, so we'll see you next week and I hope you have a lovely rest of your Sunday. Bye, guys. Sleep in heavenly peace. Our story today comes from 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41 to 46. The story is, Elijah prays for rain. As soon as the contest on Mount Carmel was over, and the Lord had shown his power by sending fire, Elijah told King Ahab, Go and eat and drink, for heavy rain is on the way. Then, Elijah climbed to the top of Mount Carmel with his servant. Then he bent down to the ground, put his face between his knees, and prayed for rain. 
Go and look towards the sea, Elijah told the servant. So the servant went up and looked. But he could not see any sign of rain. There is nothing there, the servant reported. So Elijah prayed a second time. The servant was sent to look again. But when he returned, he said, there was still no sign of rain. Elijah prayed for a third time. The servant looked out once more to the sea, but again, there was nothing to see. So Elijah prayed a fourth time. <sighs> but still, there was no answer for his prayer for rain. Elijah continued to pray for a fifth time. The servant searched the sky again, but still there was no sign of rain. Elijah was not prepared to give up. God had promised to send rain when Elijah had asked. Was God going to keep his promise? Elijah prayed for a seventh time. The servant climbed up to look at the sea. Suddenly, he noticed a small cloud about the size of a man's fist. It was rising out the sea. He rushed back to tell Elijah the news. Elijah knew that God had answered his prayer and he had a message for King Ahab. Hitch up your chariot and go down to the mountain before the rain stops you. The sky grew black with clouds. The wind rose heavy and rain started falling. King Ahab rode quickly off of his chariot. The power of the Lord came on Elijah and tucking his cloak into his belt, he ran ahead of King Ahab all the way to Jezreel. It was about the same distance as a marathon run. And that's the story of Elijah praying for rain. Hope you enjoyed that story. Panache did an amazing job. I think that's his permanent job from now on. But let me know if you guys liked it. But today's story was Elijah Praise for Rain. And we got a few lessons from it. Uh, the first one being that when things don't go as planned, as you when you pray and you pray and you pray and you don't see that the things are uh, coming out the way you want, don't give up. Trust in God, have faith in God, and He will always, always, always come through. As long as it is in his, his will, He will make sure that you prosper, that He will make sure that your prayer requests are answered. And the, and the second lesson being that we should use our time wisely. Elijah, instead of going out and uh, celebrating the miracle that God made by bringing down fire, he, he didn't go and celebrate and have fun. He chose to continue to serve God. He went and prayed for rain so that the drought could end and that the, the people can have food and their crops can start to grow. He chose to pray. He chose to serve. And he used this time wisely. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. That means that you and I, all of us, should, while we're young and uh, have all the energy we should be serving God, helping Him, and, and uh, working for Him. And write down in the comments next week what you did. I know Kaylee, you challenged you guys to, to help your church, whether you're at Fountain Church or whatever church you're with. Make sure you ask your parents, ask an adult what you can do to help in the, in the service, whether it's cleaning up, uh, picking things up, or if you want to pray, in the service or pray for the service or pray for the pastor ask your parents what can i do what can i do to serve all right see you guys next week bye